Good afternoon. Welcome to Jim Munley's World of Weather. I clicked on to the Long Range Weather Forecast discussion for July 18th to August 1st. Uh, we're looking at amplified flow this forecast period. We still have our strong ridge here in the west, and we have a troughing here in the east. And the models are in good agreement with this. We go to the 22nd, we look at all the models, and we also have this strong ridge that will be building from the western Atlantic towards the southeast coast. Uh, a trough tries to move, this trough tries to move inland, but it will be slow due to this strong ridge. 594 approaches 600 dm in some places. And um, the ridge will cause dangerous heat and humidity over the weekend. And in addition to the hot temperatures, low humidity, breezy conditions, and dry fuels will result in an increased fire threat for uh, portions of the Northwest. So we're going to take a look at the current fire situation here across the west. Fire here, 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 right? And now we're going to look at um, the fire outlook. And this is for, um, what day is this? For Friday the 12th, we have an increased fire here. Well, it says here low, high. Oh, this is hot and dry. I thought it was hot. Uh, lightning in this area, this can induce fire fires, forest fires, dry lightning, uh, lightning and dry thunderstorms. And um, in this area, little or no risk. The yellow is low risk. Uh, brown is moderate risk. So we have moderate risk here. So the areas. And um, so this is where we're expecting the fire uh, danger to increase, even across here, across the northwest. That's Friday. And if we go to, what's the next, what's the next day? Oh, that was, oh, okay, wait a minute. I got back up. I was reading the wrong thing. This is valid for Friday. This is as of Friday. And then we're going to look at, um, this is valid for Saturday. And could be lightning induced here due to fires. And here in the green, a little or no risk. And we have moderate threat here. And we have a moderate risk here in this region too, where it's been dry. Okay, most of this area is wet, but um, I still think there's a threat here across parts of the Northeast because we're getting some rain now, but not as much as we should. And then we're going to go and look at uh, the next one. This is valid for Sunday. Lightning induced across this area. Uh, we have a W here. Windy. This is windy conditions. Dry windy conditions across this area here. So um, there'll be a threat here across parts of the West for this region. Okay. And um, we'll also get to go to the surface now. We'll have... Um, let me get to the map, All right, 18th to the 20th. As you can see, we have monsoonal moisture working in here due to this ridge circulating in, uh, moisture from the Gulf and the Pacific. And in the east, we'll have um, a slow moving front that will sink south to the south central states and the southeast and the mid Atlantic. And uh, this will uh, cause rain, possible flooding conditions across this area. And areas here across the north will finally get a break from the heat and humidity later on in the week. Okay, um, we're going to look at the period now for um, July 23rd to the 27th. And we still have our strong ridge here, our ridge building towards the southeast coast. This is approach of 600 dm trough here. So uh, for this forecast period, I am calling for... Try it again. Above normal temperatures here, and I'm calling for anomalies to be as high as 10 degrees or more above normal, mainly across parts of the Northwest and Northern Rockies. Not so sure about out here yet. Um, some of them are cooler than normal, and but I'm keeping that near normal. And for precipitation, calling for below normal precipitation here. Probability of occurrence is 35%. Above normal precipitation here. Probability of occurrence is 30%. Now I'm going to look at the period for July 28th to August 1st. And we're expecting a quasi-zonal flow here across the northern states. 
a little bit of wobble here and across the northeast above normal heights but as you can see some of the models still bring that ridge here across the the florida and the gulf of mexico parts of southeast and also here in the west so i'm calling for this forecast period above normal temperatures as much as this region here and i'm calling for anomalies be near 10 degrees above normal mainly here across many of the same areas uh parts of the southwest and northern rockies with anomalies near 10 degrees or more and for precipitation calling for below normal precipitation here and along the east coast probability of occurrence 35 percent above normal precipitation here probability of occurrence is up to 40 percent so that's the long range weather forecast discussion for July 8th to 18th through August 1st. Thanks for coming to Jim Munley's World of Weather and have a good day.